and Auburn coming off the 21-14 loss to the University of Tennessee. Kentucky coming off the loss to Alabama two weeks ago that you saw on TBS. The series record, Auburn has won 10 straight. You have to go back to 1966 till Kentucky has defeated Auburn. 19-5-1 is the overall series. The deep backs over on the left side is James Josephs. In the middle is Herbert Casey. And on the near side is Domenico Anderson. Three deep backs to take the kickoff from the foot of Ken Willis. Into the end zone, Herbert Casey will touch it down there. And Auburn comes to offense, first down 10 at their own 20-yard line. Reggie Slack, 626 yards in the air. Joseph will be down four. Slack will throw in third and long. Swings it left side. This is Stacy Danley. Needs some blocks. Doesn't get him. He's stopped at the 25. Today at that offensive front, Brian Crawley, the starter, is just out of the hospital from a staph infection. Kentucky fumbles on the first play. It was Rawls. He fell on it. Kentucky retains possession. Tennessee for Auburn. They've got a good defense. It is complete over the middle to number 80, Phil Logan, to the 28 yard line of Auburn. Third down one. Rawls to sweep left side. Needs some blocks. Doesn't get him. He's going to be thrown for a two or three yard loss. Excellent pursuit by the Auburn defense. Steve Phillips, the holder. Got it up high enough. It is no good. Wide to the right side. Six yards of offense on that drive on the ground. Now first and ten Auburn. From the 21, James Joseph driving for about five across the 25. Yard line of the Tigers. Slack. Plenty of time to throw. Alexander Wright wide open at the 40 and down to the 39-yard line. Alexander Wright with his first catch of the day is 14th on the year. Exciting plays that you didn't have a chance to see. Slack roll, drops, rolls to his right. Let's it go back, Alexander Wright wide open. Chris Tolbert not even in the picture. He cannot hang on. Later threw the ball to Taylor. Sits below his own. This should not be a touchdown. Massey, a reliable player, comes up and misses. Tolbert misses. Robinson can't get there. Taylor turns that into a touchdown against probably the most conservative zone that you can. And this is a lineman's, this is a lineman call. Pat Dye, the old guard. Let's ram it down their throat. Let's get it. Alex Strong off the left guard. Just a little movement, but enough for the first down. Can be the catalyst to bring your team together. Slack. Right over the middle. Wide open is 28. Pedro Cherry broke the tackle. Touchdown, Auburn. A 36-yard reception and run by Pedro Cherry, a true freshman from Windsor, North Carolina. Rolls hit in the backfield. That Kentucky running and hit the ball, popped loose again. Was it after the whistle? Let her fly. Slack has been four out of four on third down conversions. Make it five out of five, no conversion. <laughs> He's five out of five on third down conversion attempts. Shotgun look, we understood they were gonna try this a little bit today. Bill Logan splits out wide to the right side. What a great catch, concentration, penalty markers down. But Logan came up with it, Eric Ramsey covering on the play, a gain of 16. 23-yard line, they're going for it here. It'll be a 50-yard attempt. He has one this year. Into the wind. Yeah, the wind held it up, too. A little to the right. The penalty marker is down, however. 
It was fourth down and four. If it's against Auburn and a five-yard penalty, it's not, however. It's against Kentucky. Inexperienced lineman working into your front here for Kentucky. Maggard rolling the run. Turns it upfield. Maggard near the goal line. He did not cross the goal line, but he's inside the one. 27 pounds. Off the left side, touchdown, Andy Murray. Hold it, a penalty marker is down. Jerry Claiborne's seen a lot of flags on touchdowns by Kentucky. Let's see who it's against. I believe the flag is for Auburn. illegal participation. I don't think their 12th player got off the field in time. His first scrimmage at Auburn back in 81. Pat dies 3-0 against Kentucky. Jerry Claiborne's 0-3 against Auburn. The defense holds. Joseph does not get the first down. Jerry Bell, number 98, was the man in the middle of that play. Balls in the backfield. That's Kirk Johnson, the freshman, in motion. Play fake. Comes to the left side. The pass intended for Bolden. Backers are dropping. Third down eight. Auburn allows only 20.21% conversion. You see why. Big loss on the play. It was Quentin Riggins who had Andy season. First and 10 for the 16. Slack. Couldn't find anybody, but he scrambled and finally Wasden came back to him to make the grab for a first down. There's the elusive feat of Reggie Slack. Slack's going to have to tuck it and run. He gets the first down. Slack. It's Taylor, who was hit instantly by Ron Robinson. That's the same pattern, Bob, that they completed for 22 yards early in the first quarter. Those cases to where Kentucky's hanging on by their fingernails. That said, here goes Slack to throw it. It is complete at the 40-yard line of Kentucky to Greg Taylor. 14 seconds remaining in the half, a gain of 21 yards. Remember, the ball has to get somewhere around the 30-yard line before there's a good field goal opportunity for Wynn Lyle. Back out of there, it's almost like he's setting up and then planning a rollout. Slack's only had four incompletions today out of 16 attempts. It's picked off by Robinson! Robinson to the 30-yard line as... The time runs out in the first half. A return of 43 yards. and a couple of quick scores, but the Kentucky defense uh, woke up again and that's a turnover. Phillips in motion on second down six. Rawls, going to be thrown for another big loss. Darrell Crawford was back there. Now Baker's in behind Andy Murray. This is second down seven from the 21. That's Baker in motion. It's tipped! the 15-yard line. Daryl Crawford tipped it. John Wiley came up with it. Number nine. And linebacker's probably unconscious. <laughs> Slack avoids the rush and gets rid of the ball. What a job by Freddie Slack. The fumble. Kentucky football, Reggie Slack did a great job of moving around, but then the fumble and Jeff Brady has it. Off the field. Third down one, Kentucky. Maggard on the option, pitches to Baker. Tremendous penetration by Quentin Riggins and a host of Auburn players, and once again on third down one, people. 34-yard attempt. Willis missed from 38 previously. At a point after block. 
misses this one. Willis is not having a good day. This could be a 14 to 9, 14 to 10 game, actually. Man has brought the team to life offensively. We understand it's just a slight screen. Slack. He's going to break away and run. Penalty markers are down. Slack does not get the first down. He goes to the 28. Penalty. Aaron Maggard, 119 yards in the air today. Under pressure, avoids it again. Here he goes. Tackled from behind, no game. The ball came loose. It is Auburn football. the third quarter. Turnover. Even at three. Strong. It came loose again. Now it's Kentucky ball. 14 to 6. Auburn leads it. 626 remaining. Nobody's made it anybody pay on those turnovers, however, here in the second half. First half, a Rawls fumble led to an eventual Auburn touchdown. Second down four from the 47. Here he comes again. Started to cut it outside. Paid the price with a loss on the play. David Rocker with the tackle. I will say this. 4.45 to go third quarter. Trailing by eight. This time it's Mike Thomas. And you see that Auburn defense. They're making the penetration. Run play passes. Dump the ball over the middle. Bilberry in motion out of the backfield. On second down, 11. Maggard. Penalty markers are down. Maggard is down. Big loss on the play, about six yards. Riggins was back there all over it. It's got to become instinct. You have to see it moving and, uh, and just get there. Third down, 16 from the 45 out of the shotgun. Pressure. Down goes Maggard. Fernando Horn gets the sack. The junior from Winston-Salem on their mind, but they trail early today. We'll keep you posted on that one. James Joseph! He's the big, tough runner and has the breakaway speed, and he was just steps away from it. Game of 11. 2.13 to go in the third quarter. This is first down. Here comes the pitch to Stacy Danley. He gets about five or six. Why that many second-teamers in at this point in the game, Tim? Taylor in motion. Slacks running the throw. James Joseph. Cuts back for a few extra yards. Nice move. Good balance. Tony Massey will get credit for tripping. Always got to keep Alexander right in mind. Joseph, first down to the 44. Clemson. Since then, they've been getting better and better and better. Slack over the middle. Taylor just overthrew him. Slack has the 30-odd six arm. Triple coverage back. Uh, Kentucky held Auburn only two first downs in the third quarter. 50 yards offense. Look at this guy. What a player. Back on the carry. Stopped by Swanson. Swanson knocked out of bounds. Looks like Oakland, unless something strange happens on the way to wrap up the third, fourth game next year. James Joseph right up the middle. Look at his power to five, to the four. Motion out the backfield. Maggard is going to have to scramble and 
throw on the run. Popped into the air. And then picked off by seven, Neil Clark. After it went off the chest of Alfred Rawls. One of those next Saturday. It'll either be in Oxford or Auburn. Pass lofted over the top to Phil First down 10 from the 14. Maggard. In some trouble here. But look what he's doing. Can he get past number 47, who is Elton Billingsley? The answer is no. Touchdown, Andy Murray. The first second half touchdown of the year for Kentucky. Maggard tucks it up, is hit at the four. It was Greg Ogletree who came from behind. 21 to 12. Didn't get the 10 yard. Not a very good attempt by Ken Willis. Touchdown from the first quarter. Joseph gets the first down. And he has run with great authority today.